See that? Johnny here and DJ. Woohoo! Tonight we've got some more beer coming on. This time we've got Captain Lawrence Brewing Company out of Elmsford, New York, U.S. of A. Woohoo! They're performing well in Sochi. 2014 right now as we've won the gold medal in the slope style thanks to mr sage now do you know where we got this beer johnny oh we're talking about beer i was talking <laughs> about the olympics and hoping that we would we're lead into the, vodka we're doing the olympics now oh the drinking the drink olympics drink olympics is that kind of like what was that cartoon they always said the olympics you had like the yeah, one group. That? oh those were great comment if you remember so this beer here we got from our good buddy, Average Joe, or Average Troll, as he is also known. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, he's Joe sent us this. I believe Thanks, Joe. that Troll. this beer here, the Captain Lawrence Troll. Smoked Porter. Um, I think they used to call this Pleasantville Porter at one time also. Um, I, I don't think he's Pleasant tried this one. I don't, I don't know. So I think it's an area up near the brewery or something. But American Porter, 6.4% ABV and 45 IBUs. And... In this, they're using German smoked malt, which is probably the best there is. There you oh, go. Maybe they're getting it from X because their smoked malt is awesome. So Sounds good. I'm going to open this, and Johnny's going to talk to you about something. Okay. It was American border year-round. <laughs> and I told him that. Oh, okay. Did you tell him the ABV? Yes. Oh. And so, the IBU. So I wasn't really listening to you. I was trying to read the bottle. <laughs> tell, tell him about the Olympics. Okay. Well, like I said... The Americans doing well, and the slope style, some dude named Sage won. Um, Sage. Sage. Uh, let's see. What else can we talk about here? Uh, let's see. Um, really Don't wise, worry. We're not. almost ready to tell the appearance. Oh, wait. We're all poured up. Yeah, let's see. How nice. do we go here? Um, we have to talk about the beer. What? We're, we're, we're talking we're about good. beer? Yeah, yeah, beer. You sure? Yeah, the beer. Okay. Uh, this from the other night. Um, come on. Oh, okay. The Canucks are beating the Maple Leafs in the mm -hmm. third period. The Canadians are on top of the Hurricanes. The Red Wings are tied with the Lightning. Avalanche and Islanders. Avalanche up 2 nothing. Damn, mm -hmm. Capitals are tied with the yeah. Devils. Third period, or first period. Nothing to nothing. Nothing to nothing. Ducks, Predators, 0-0. Stars are leading the Coyotes, and that's good. We'll talk about beer now. Yes. Now, the last smoke porter we had was Surly Smoke, and that was pretty awesome. Um, this was really yes. dark, a little bit lights getting through, some like ruby hints. Yeah, a little bit, yep. It's settled down to a one finger head on mine here, super tight bubbles, swirl it. Well, look at that, nice glass lacing. A little darker than khaki, but... Mm-hmm. Mm, nice one. Nice Actually, nice, some nice alcohol legs on the 6.4 percenter. Let's get the aroma. It smells like my butt, no. <laughs> it's nice and smoky, I get a bit of chocolate. A lot of roasted coffee aromas coming off of this. Yeah, that's what I'm smelling, fresh brewed coffee. This has got the sort of like, like bacon-y kind of smoke to it as mm -hmm. well. Less, not the campfire, so I'm thinking it's probably not oak smoke malt. It's probably the beechwood smoke kind. Nice aroma to this beer. Toffee, coffee, that bacon-like smoke aroma in there, and a little bit of caramel, and some real faint chalk in the background. Okay. Take a taste. Imported, Cheers. Or imported, frost. Imported German smoke malt to add depth and complexity to our smoke porter. Cheers, Scott vacuum whoever Scott is right oh looks like vacuum backhaul okay um yeah mm. the, the call or the cow I don't know so, so yeah Scott that guy you know as it's I, I was breathing in I was as I was drinking and I tell you I picked up big smoke mm -hmm. in my nose the aroma and it I, I taste that smokiness you, it's not it's not campfire, but you taste it. It's like almost smoked like bacon, smoked meat. It's, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's nice. It's, it's got tasty. a it's got a sort of like smoke and like toffee or caramel aftertaste to it. It's got a bit of coffee in the taste as well. The body's a little thin. The carbonation is kind of effervescent when you drink it. Damn it! It's like a kielbasa smoke. Like Polish sausage, German yeah. sausage, definitely. I get the bacon. Mm -hmm. It's mm. a nice tasting beer. I like it. the the body's a little thin, but that does it's not real off putting that it's thin. Um, no. The the carbonation cleans the palate pretty good too after you drink it down, and the the smoke flavor does last pretty long on the palate. 
this isn't like Ect or Ect Schlenkela, mm -hmm. their beer, and the Surly Smoke had a bigger flavor than this, but that's an eight and a half percent beer, I think. And, and when you get and when you get more into a couple of mouth feels fulls of it, mm -hmm. you, you get pick up more of that smoke taste, and you, you continue to smell that smoke aroma. Mm -hmm. And we're drinking this probably, I guess, what do you think, like 50-some degrees, like 50? Well, in the dungeon here, it's about 32 <laughs> below zero. It's not that bad. we got the heater going. <laughs> it's like it's like 50-some degrees. It's the right temperature. Yeah, it wasn't the air within two feet of the heater is nice and warm. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, it's better than last time. True. We could see our breath almost last time, but I think it's My a... My nipples are still hard. This is the best porter we've had so far tonight. It's uh, We had yes. uh, some others tonight, and I really like this. It has a really good aftertaste. It's easy to drink, and you don't detect a bit of the 6.4% ABV in this at all. Mm -hmm. So how do you grade something like this? Well, the, our boys over at Rate Beer, 97. Wow, I'm, and I'm surprised. And it should have been 99. No, no, it should be lower because it's not like a 10% alcohol beer or yeah. something big and crazy. That's true, that's true. You know, usually an odd style like this, they give it like 30 or some crap like that. Yep, dudes over at Beer Advocate gave it a 90. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to match Beer Advocate, dudes, because I, I like this beer, even though it's thin on the mouth. Mm -hmm. I really like that, the, just, the, just the aroma and the taste mm -hmm. together when you... I, I, it's, it's a that bacon German mm -hmm. kielbasa, Polish kielbasa, whatever. Really good bratwurst, whatever you want it. It, it I, I really like this beer. I, I agree with John. I'm gonna go with 90. Also, I think it's really well made, and the smoke in is playing really well off the malt bill in there too. The chocolate and the coffee and the roast notes that are in that porter as well. Like I said, the the only the only downside for me on this one is the mouth feels a little thin, but the taste makes up for that thinness, and I, I really like this beer. I'd drink it again, and I'd look to buy it again. So, Joe, thanks a million for sending this. It's really cool. Yeah, send it again. Exactly. This was one I had asked for before, but they were out of it, so he, the next uh, go-around, he sent it to me. That's really cool, man. We really appreciate it. And, you know what? We appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching, and also, we'd really appreciate it if you would think globally, and... I can't read tonight. Drink locally and support the craft beer movement. It's like that bouncing ball. That's right. And you can support DJ's Brewtube if you, like, order a shirt or something like that. That would be rocking good, too. I'd have to, like, order them and get them for you because I've been too lazy to do so and get inventory. But we can acquire you once that you like it. Anyways, to the next DJ's Brewtube, guys, thanks a million for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And also check out Joe's... Wait, that's right. Joe that hasn't been posting videos. Joe, Cam up. Then we'll put your little information down here, baby. So you can see Joe on the Albino Rhino channel. Check out Albino Rhino uh, beer review. Does he do like uh, the Guinness gauntlet and he failed? No, no, he didn't. He didn't I, I want to know. He didn't do the Albino Guinness Rhino. Gauntlet. What's the name of the guy that Chad. Epic failed? Oh, the one that <laughs> totally spewed. I can't remember the dude's name, but he, he really spewed out. Um, anyways, guys, the next DJ's Brew Tube. Like I said, thanks a million for watching. And we just got something. Yeah, a big. Peace out.